Have you all seen the new way to remove and change a background in Photoshop? Well, for this video, I'm going to show you how to use AI in Photoshop to change your background. And once you're inside of Photoshop, you will need to get yourself a Photoshop beta in order to have all of the new features and the features that I'm using in this video today. Now, as you may know, in Photoshop, we have two buttons for select subject and remove background. That is completely normal. However, if you remove a background now in Photoshop, it will give you two more options, which are generate background or import a background. So if you're very specific on your background and you have an image that you want to import, you just simply click on here, select it, place, and this will automatically place it behind your subject, allowing you to upscale this and apply it onto your image. However, if you're looking to generate a complete new background, you can use Photoshop's AI by, first of all, cropping this out. We're just going to make it larger. You want to set it to transparent, and then press done. From here, what we're going to do is we're going to go back onto the select tool, go ahead and edit background, and then we're going to go to generate background. Now in here, if you wanted to, you can be specific with your words and type in a custom prompt. However, to save some time, what I like to do is I like to go on chat GPT and use the AI to also work with Photoshop's AI. So it's a little bit lazy work, but it just does a better job. I ask it, can you please write wave? This will generate you a prompt. And by reading this, this already sounds epic. However, the only problem is, it's a little bit too long. Adobe Photoshop will not fit all of this text. So you just want to ask to shorten it down. It will do it once again. So it shortened it down. You can also try copying this as well. And this one should definitely fit inside of here. So there we go. You can go ahead and click on generate once you're happy with it and then just wait for Photoshop to generate that background. And that's not too bad. It's definitely got a very cartoonish look to it. We can have a look at the next one and that is actually quite interesting looking. I quite like the look of this one. And this one is not too bad either. I would personally say the first one we're going to get rid of and we're also going to get rid of the third one as well. We're just going to generate once again, and this will use this variation to create some more. You basically want to do this until you're happy with the background. And there we go, that's not too bad. This one is definitely interesting. We also have this one. And once you're happy with it, you can also duplicate your layer. We're just going to go back onto here. And if you're happy with this one, you can also enhance the detail. This will just sharpen up the details on the background. However, we have a new problem that has occurred. So this problem is simply because this image is visible. So what you need to do is you need to go back, undo. You want to hide this layer and then sharpen it up. Now, sometimes this can work. However, if you notice the edges are way too sharp, and they're looking a little bit odd, you will need to correct the edges if they are very noticeable. However, for now, this is decent. We can definitely settle with this. If you want to, you can also add some other effects or you can generate some things in the background. But for now, what we're going to do is we're going to focus on the person and the background to brighten it up and make it look a lot brighter. We can get ourselves the curves, and we're just going to add one in the middle and just slightly adjust this to make it more dramatic and give it that cinematic look. We can also add a hue and saturation and bring back some of those colors. And there we go. As you can see, this looks really cool. 